everyone's wondering why I'm wearing headphones for video, it says I can hear myself because when you can hear yourself, like you guys will be hearing me, makes things much easier. How are you all? Oh, I'm so excited for today's video. Um, check my t-shirt, and when I say my t-shirt, I mean my boyfriend's. It's a nose chemistry. somebody who I've already done an unboxing swap with and that is the wonderful Uncle Ear. Why do we call him Uncle? I don't know. <laughs> I call him Uncle Ephemeral. I, I don't know who started it. I don't know whether it came from a video but people just call him Uncle Ear because Ephemeral Rift. Um, we spoke last year at the end of last year and I arranged to do one in January well he kind of wanted to send me something out um, and I was like of course I'm going to send you something back um, so I think I'm going to send him something maybe end of February March so without further ado let me start the box now um, two things I want to say first of all I am taken everything off the tape addresses obviously um, so although it's open I've not looked I always state this and the second thing is midway through this video I'm going to do a periscope um, it's going to be live obviously because periscope's live but it's going to be on the video kind of like um, an ASMR inception so people are on periscope watching me film an, ANS, an ASMR video which then they can later go back and watch the video that was being recorded at the time and watch them on Periscope. I think it'll be pretty cool. I don't know when I'll do that. Um, so. This is the box. Fun fact about this box, it uh, went walkies. Um, my PO box. Most things can be delivered to my PO box. However, anything sent by Parcel Force doesn't go to my PO box. It's kept at Parcel Force and then they send a letter to my PO box to say, we don't know where your PO box is. It's literally down the road. We don't know where your PO box is, um, so you need to come and collect it. This box um, went walkies when it was in the Parcel Force depot. So I was waiting for the letter to arrive to say that we have your parcel because of course they're more if just kept in contact with me. Never came. And I'm like, oh no, it gets sent back if I don't collect it within a certain time. Um, fortunately they'd lost it or they'd misplaced it so they couldn't actually send it back because they didn't know where it was so I got in touch with them and they were pretty good to be honest. I got in touch with them one day they did a depot wide search and within the next day they'd found it the day after that they re-delivered it to my home the guy who re-delivered it to my home remembered my name <laughs> remembered where I worked um, and said oh well now I know because it's Charlotte Angel he said now I know I can just bring them to your house so hopefully from now on I'll just get them delivered straight to my house because the delivery
hope this package and letter finds you well. Enclosed, you'll find a variety of goodies which I hope you haven't had before. Thanks for being open to another exchange, but please don't feel obligated to return the gesture anytime soon. Keep up the great work on your channel. Your viewers are quite lucky to have you. Femoral Road. P.S. I hate to disappoint you, but I'm really after those Eccles cakes. <laughs> That's the whole entire reason I even got on YouTube in the first place. <laughs> Send more Eccles cakes. <laughs> I will, um, i link that video here. When I sent him a box back, weirdly enough, I just happened to pick up Eccles cakes. I've never actually eaten Eccles cakes before. <laughs> And I was in Tesco and I was thinking like, what can I send him that's quintessentially English? So I sent him some Marmite um, nuts and Monster Munch and things, which is all cookies, which I thought was hilarious. But he, um, I just saw some Eccles cakes and it said something like Yorkshire. And I thought Yorkshire, local produce, you know, it's, it's going to be quintessentially English, so I sent him that. And it turns out he loves that sort of stuff. I think we're like raisins on sultanas. <laughs> and it, it, honestly, they never, almost never made it into the box because I've never had them and I didn't really want to send something I'd never had. So um, he now wants to buy out the Yorkshire Eccles cakes because they're so good. Wouldn't it be awful if I sent him a box and didn't put any in? <laughs> And what he's done here is, um, <laughs> Eccles cakes now. Did I mention I really like Eccles cakes? Do you realise it's been almost a year or more since I, <laughs> my last Eccles cakes? Are you planning on sending me Eccles cakes? send him now. That would be just the worst if I sent them. And he got right down to the last item and he thought they were Eccles cakes and they weren't. I might send them. Okay, so what I think he's done here is obviously you can't send like a box because it'll just be huge. So I think he's probably like broken them down a little bit. So there's this tasty cake, which actually reminds me of the song Baby Cakes. Baby cakes, I love you so so. And I, 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 was it Dappy who sang it or Talisa or something like that? I don't like the song, but that reminds me of baby cakes. Butterscotch crumpets. Crumpets. They're very like crumpets. Crumpets, what are they? Sponge cakes with butterscotch icing. Coffee cakes. So they're cupcakes. Crumb top cupcakes with cream filling. So I'm guessing this is obviously the Tasty Cakes brand. Drakes. <laughs> you used to call me out my devil dog. Do, 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 do. Um, individually wrapped, cream filled devil's food cakes. Devil dogs, what the heck? I'm guessing there. I'm going to put my money on them being like um, like chocolate rolls. What are they called? You know what I'm on about? Then like chocolate Swiss rolls. I can't remember what they're called. Tasty cakes, peanut, peanut butter candy cakes, cakes filled with chocolate flavored coating and peanut butter filling. Americans and your peanut butter. <gasps> Twinkies. I've had Twinkies. But I've had a Twinkie before. I had a quarter of a Twinkie. I didn't enjoy it. But that was a long time ago. So maybe. <laughs> maybe it'll be different. My boyfriend liked them. I didn't though. I thought they were so sweet. 
but of course I'm going to try it. Right. Okay. This is a Twinkie. I'm actually really hungry. I've not eaten a lot. vanilla cake really get break it in two and I don't I honestly don't think that it's gonna be as disgusting as I thought it was. So it's like a little white filling. Was wrong? What was wrong with the one I tried? I bought one from Vegas and I swear to god it was the most disgusting thing I've ever tasted in my life. It was dry and sweet and just awful. This, I don't want to eat too much because I've clearly got a lot of things to get through. If you don't like eating noises, this video is sure in for you. Very moist. Would I buy one? No. To be honest, I'm not a cake person. Like, I don't eat birthday cake, and when it's my birthday, I say, don't make me birthday cake because I don't like cake. But these aren't. This is not like um, what I would consider a a cake it's it's weird I like muffins but I don't like cakes muffins are essentially small cakes I know that I'm not ridiculous but you know like a blueberry muffin that you get from Starbucks it's ridiculously moist you know really airy but then you can get cakes like a birthday cake from Sainsbury's and you cut into it and it's just like dry and awful these are more like a, a muffin texture very nice I like this I could eat it, like I'm going to eat it later on obviously. I don't want to eat it all now, but my reaction to the first time I had this, completely different to the original one I tried. Maybe it's just Vegas um, Twinkies that are disgusting. Okay, so we've got um, a devil dog, cream filled devil's food cake. Hopefully I don't have to talk too loud to them because um, I don't want to be shouting because obviously this is a very quiet video. It's time to get this open. I can see the cream sneaking out already. Okay, so I've got my phone here, the iPhone 6S Plus. The phone that caused me, caused me the most problems ever. I got this phone. I'm not going to go into it. It's making me angry. So I'm not going to talk about it. The ice cream man's still outside. I'm just going to have to cut him off. Um, I'm not going to talk about it because it makes me angry. I struggled for a week and a half just to get on this phone. So let's do a periscope. What are we going to call it? Live. Um, I don't know. <laughs> this is the reality of it. Um,
say straight away I'm starting to digest the food someone commented on a video saying you should eat before filming because I was like constantly internally burping and I'm like because he thought I was hungry but in reality like I do it all the time whether I'm hungry or whether I've just eaten I'm always burping my tummy's always rumbling filming and ASMR I wonder if, um, hello, I wonder if they can hear me, if my whispering is loud enough. Um, just to show you what Periscope looks like, oh, I'm just going to move you to the camera. Oh my god, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Can you even see it? No, you can't, all the enough is you that way. Roughly, kind of. This is my view. So I show you this is the view I am looking at now. I'm filming a video, obviously. Just got to wait till that focuses on me, which it's not now. I have my camera, my light, my light. This is my microphone. Um, this is obviously my really scruffy room. So I've got my mic here set up. The cable goes outside under the door into my uh, laptop, which is what I record on. And so right now I'm going to put you up while we re record eating a devil dog's food cake. Now, it's weird because I've got two things now. Um, it's an unboxing from Ephemeral Rift. Can everybody hear me okay? Um, it's an unboxing from Vemma Rift. Um, way more involved than I thought. You make it look easy. <laughs> Thank you, it's very complex. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you kind of what's here. There. So I've got my laptop, my, my laptop, sorry, my phone stand, tissue if I need to blow my nose, spare, SD card, battery, SD card holder, um, these for if I need to stick that up, the box, water, the letter and whatnot. And obviously that's my setup. I'll just show them around this way. And then obviously this is what it looks like. That's where I sit. Very basic. Nothing flash. That's recording there. Now I do record from the mic on top of my camera now because if my Blue Yeti fails, the audio from my camera is not good enough. Um, so I have just started doing that as a backup. Um, if you've watched my Biscuits of Britain, you'll know my latest one, you'll know that I had to do voiceover because obviously I don't have, I didn't have any audio to go over it. So this is kind of my insurance. So I'll just pop you there. I saw Hold on. Stand you up properly. Put you on my fancy pants stand. There we go. So you can watch while I just record this. Put my earphones back in. So I've got my periscope people watching and we're about to try. Adrake's Devil Dog Cream Filled Devil's Food Cake. Now I don't know what Devil's Food She smells now again with the cake theme. I don't like chocolate cake. I can't stand chocolate cake. But it smells nice. You all think I'm a liar now. Charlotte, you said you don't like cake and you don't like chocolate cake and you liked it. Oh, it's a big piece. So this is what it looks like. Again, very spongy. I 
doesn't taste as good as it smells. Um, making me hungry. Just ate loads of nachos. I've never had nachos before, actually. I don't like this at all. This is... Oh no. It, um... It tastes a bit... You know when you make food, you make chocolate cake mixture and you eat it before it's cooked and it's got that weird taste to it. It's kind of like that. It's not that nice. It's not as nice as a Twinkie, I'll show you. The top of the Twinkie is kind of like a... It's, it's more airy than that one. This has kind of got um, almost like a crust on it. So surprisingly enough, the Twinkie wins over um, the Devil Dog. So I'm just gonna wipe my hands because I don't want to get grease everywhere. Put that over there. I'm just gonna show Periscope what's in the box. Once I've shown you what's in the box and I'm gonna so that's what I've got to uh, to do. Obviously, we've got that in there. Not sure what's under there. Oh, I don't know. What are they? I just don't know. <laughs> so excited. So yeah, Periscope. I'm gonna go now. Thank you for joining me. You'll actually be. Um, in my thing, I had a look, I actually, um, I recorded a Periscope earlier on and thought, oh, I can overlay it in with everyone's chat, but it doesn't record the chat, it just records the video, so you don't really, um, you don't actually appear in it, that's why I kind of showed you, so I'll just, uh, I'll put you there, will you be able to be focused? There we go, hold on, will it focus there? So if you want to say hi, I'll give some hearts. Now's the time, because you're being filmed. There we go, we've got some hearts. So this is everyone on Periscope, saying hello. Thank you for joining me on Periscope. So yeah, I'll pop this in the video so you'll actually get to see yourselves. Because my camera, the phone actually only records the video. For joining me. That was super cool to be able to like, there was people who watch my videos who are on Periscope and they're like, this is so cool. I enjoyed that. Okay. Now, um, what have we got? Let's go into, uh, devil dogs and the what are they called? hostess what? yellow sponge things with cream in oh my god seriously shut up what are they called? twinkies <laughs> I want to see my brain if ever somebody tells me something and I forget I'm like, please, don't be offended. My brain doesn't work. Like, on a normal conversation, when I'm thinking of a word, I have to picture it. So if I want to say my microphone and the words disappeared, and I know I'm like, I know what it is, I just can't think of it. I have to think of a picture of a microphone. But obviously, Twinkies is a brand name, not an item, so I couldn't get it there. So yeah, shocking. T 
tasty cakes. I love you so, so. These are coffee cake cupcakes. You can actually smell them a bit. Oh god, oh god, oh god. These are going everywhere. <laughs> Spill these all over my floor, these little things on the top. So, it's like a Not something I'd buy again because um, I'm not really a cake buyer, but this was out on someone's coffee table when I went round for a cuppa. I definitely have one. Oh, I'm tempted to take another bite, but I don't want to fill myself up. What I don't want to do is get to more things and then be like feeling sick by the end of the box. No innuendos, please. I'm aware how bad this all sounds. Mm. Mm. Oh, I do like this. I didn't think I would. Because I'm not. Again, I thought it might be dry, but it's not. It's really moist. Really moist. Coffee. I don't taste coffee. It's, uh, it's like cinnamon. Crumb top cupcakes with cream filling. But I don't understand where the coffee is. There's definitely no coffee, which I'm pleased about because I'm not a big fan of coffee. But I'm trying to think if I like anything coffee flavoured. Revels. Revels. Really made. Like, Revels don't really work on me because I like all of them. The ones I don't really like are um, the minstrel ones, are a bit boring. Like the orange revel, coffee revel, they're all well nice. It used to be years ago, you're like, uh, I got a coffee one and you'd spit it out because it'd be rank. Whereas now you're like, mm, it's, an, it's like a latte one. And the orange one, mm, it's really nice. So yeah, I like them all now. This, the thumbs up. That's the next one. Good. Scotch crumpets, Harry. Right, let's see if it passes the uh, angel sniff test. Nothing to report here. Just like the rice tree, they're just very cakey and millery. Too bad. 
the flavour the stuff on the top. Let's have a taste of this on its own. There's more on the floor. Butterscotch. These people need a lesson in what butterscotch is. Because I said butterscotch. I know what butterscotch is. No, it's just so plain. The butterscotch, isn't it? It's like they've called it butterscotch and then not added anything. Just put plain flavouring on the top. No, tasty cakes. I'm not keen on those at all. And I'm not dissing what ephemeral Rift sent me, like I'm not ungrateful for it because in the past I've tasted stuff and I didn't like it and I'm like oh this is awful and someone got really upset and they're like you're being so disrespectful to the person who sent you and I'm like no I'm not, like they sent me it because they knew they want to see my genuine reaction and they thought it was hilarious that I didn't, I can't remember what they sent but they thought it was hilarious that I didn't like it Fermor Riff didn't make me these, he just sent me them. <laughs> um, and of course, I'm super grateful, I love it. I enjoy trying stuff that I don't necessarily like. Just a little bit less than trying stuff I do like, because it's fun. It's fun to be like, this is super popular. What was it that I tried? A biscuit of some sort. A biscuit that was really popular. Um, and everyone was like, I love this. Oh, moon pies. Moon pies. <laughs> the amount of people who came forward and were like, uh, I love moon pies. And I'm like, what? Are you crazy? They're awful. So no, I'm very grateful to Fremo for sending me this. I love it. I love packet swaps and stuff. But if I just sat here and said, mm, that's nice. Yeah, this is nice. It'd be boring. I need to show my tree. Not that I could hide my true feelings, to be honest. It would show in my face. Right, what have we got left? Oh, candy cakes. Now, I think I'm going to really like these. Because I've got peanut butter in. I don't know why I got Somerset. I go Somerset a lot. So I like to wear a skirt. the accent I uh, yeah, tried out when my brother moved down there. Now I'm just summer set. So, candy cakes, peanut butter, it just does another a slurp of water. And the most ridiculous One slip and you're literally pouring the entire thing all over yourself, which I've done in bed. Like I wake up in the middle of the night thinking, oh, you know, I need a drink of water. Pick it up and because the lip, like the lid is so big, I'm kind of expecting a small bottle so I can just drink and now I've like soaked myself. And in the winter, when the water's on the floor and the room is freezing cold and I'm pouring like freezing cold water. somewhat like a is that the peanut butter down the middle if you've seen it's got like a line down there do it there and do it there is that nice time's it four o'clock okay let's have a tasty do you get a tasty cake let's have a tasty that's where i pick up from working in comedy <laughs>
Faulty thing is like a Christmas thing that only comes out once a year. Wow. Yeah. My God, you'd have to have a tiny sliver of that. Farms classics out 
which one do you go for? Which one's the one you like? I'll have that one. And which one's the one you leave? Because I've had Milano's. I just did those in uh, my biscuits of Britain. They were alright. They weren't amazing. Sweet and crispy. See, the Brussels sound nice, but I'm going to have a, a chessman and a Brussels. Holy crap, it's cold in this room. <laughs> I'm surprised you can't see me breath. My fingers are freezing. Okay. <gasps> so, oh, I thought I was going to have a horse on it. This is a chess, a chessman. Chessman, chessman. Oh my god, it smells nice. as sweet as I was expecting. This buttery. Definitely not sweet. Nice though. I'm quite happy to buy a pack of those. Right. Mm. Oh, I like them. I almost <coughs> I almost like them. There. Not pump full of sugar. The deliciousness comes from the butteriness as opposed to the sugar. There's obviously sugar in there, but that rich flavour comes from the butter. And I'm used to biscuits like pump full of sugar over here. I like them. What did I say? A Bruscals. Which one's a Bruscals? Oh god. A Brussels. That's not Orleans, isn't it? People will be like, stupid girl. How does she not know? There's pictures there. I think this is a Brussels. Oh, it's dark chocolate. Yes. Imagine them up with the picture. There it is. Very peculiar. My pants are sticking to the seat. I've got plastic on my bum. Like, I've got plastic on my bum. I've got a word written on my trousers, you know, those sweatpants. Wait, well, like a word, and it's like that. It's like this, basically. what I expected. Have you ever had pop chips or oh, pop chip rice? I don't think they are. Anyway, I'll find out. Pop chips. They're a kind of crisp. They're a potato chip. Imagine two pop chips with some chocolate inside. This is what this is like. Flavours very peculiar, not sweet in the slightest. It's like I'm eating chocolate between two crisps. It's very weird. It's a bit salty. Very peculiar. see what they've tried to do but they've not executed it right. It's essentially two crisps and a bit of chocolate. It hasn't worked. 
However, the texture is very nice. Quite interesting texture. Like a pop chip. One more, one more. Before I go and eat some like vegetables or something. What should I go for? A border. I'm gonna go for a border. He wrote me a love letter in the swim baths, and then I went to go and get my clothes to get changed. And I didn't have like a tag, you know, where you wear your plastic band or your key. Something was wrong with that, the band wasn't there, or something weird like that. So, yeah, that happened last night in my head. a not very gingery ginger snap very snappy very a good texture really nice texture I can't liken them cross between a hobnob and a ginger snap less gingery than a ginger snap less oaty you thought know I was going to say hobby or nobby weren't you less oaty than a hobnob Kind of if a ginger snap and a hobnob had a baby, that would be a um, that would be a bottle. Sweet and crispy. It's nice. I liked it. I'm now going to uh, go on a ten mile run because of the sugar that I've pumped into my body. No, seriously, though, I'm going to go downstairs and put my heat pad in the microwave and warm up. It's out. Let's see how cold it is outside. It's. Uh, For my American compadres, thirty-nine. See, I think about you guys. You know, I think about you. It's thirty-nine degrees. Oh, it sounds so warm to me. It's like, oh, the, actually, thirty-nine sounds like the type of weather you don't want to be outside because you'll get burned instantly and you'll get heat stroke. Um. But if it's uh, if it's thirty nine slash four degrees outside, then it's probably about two degrees inside my house, <sighs> Toronto. Just in case you're wondering, what a weird I am. I have random temperatures. Now these temperatures are on my phone, not because I want them, but because I've looked them up in the past and they're somehow here. So Middlesbrough, where I live, is the top one. Toronto, minus four, um, or 25, <coughs> you didn't hear that, come on, go ahead, see, 
Vancouver, 43 or 6 degrees. Pocatello in Idaho, minus 1 or 30. New York, 2 degrees or 36. Traverse City, which is... Oh god, where is it? It's at the top of America. The top of North... No. It's at the top of the United States. Slightly to the right of the middle. Oh, what state? I can't remember the state. Anyway, someone who I follow on Instagram lives there. Um, and she always posts like these amazing weather and I'm like, where do you live? And she said something about Traverse City, so I looked it up. I think I've accidentally saved both the places that I look up. Um, so it's 21, 21 degrees there, or minus 6, which is the winner. Tampa, a toasty 57 or 14 degrees, which is cold for Florida, isn't it? Still, in my bedroom, I'm pretty sure it's like a minus 10, ridiculously cold. All of my American friends, like, 19 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, guys and girls, I'm gonna go now. Before I catch, before I get hypothermia. <laughs> First and foremost, I want to thank uh, Ephemeral Rift for sending me this amazing box. It was a box of wonders. Especially this. What is this? This is insane. This is like, I uh, was in shock when this thing came out. A little bite out of it. Yes, thank you for doing this box walk with me. Um, I, I feel like you try to send some hints or ask me to send something back. I can't remember what it was. Um, so I might not remember to put that in the one I send back. End of February, beginning of March. Um, maybe I'll wait till April, till Easter, to see what Easter goodies come out. Um, because we'll get some pretty cool things out then. <clears throat> but we don't get peeps. I know that in America you guys get something called peeps, which I think are marshmallow birds, something like that. We probably have something like that over here, which I'll have a look for anyway. my bro fist in the uh, in the comments below. I'll paste one in so you can copy it in a emoticon. Thank you, it's awesome and I'm so pleased to finally made it here in one piece and with all the stuff in it. Thank you to everyone who watched this ridiculously long video. I dread to think how long this is because this second SD card is 20 minutes now. Oh my god, I've got to edit this and export it. <laughs> didn't think of that. Um, yeah, thank you to everyone who will like it, will comment on it, and who has bothered to watch up until this point. Um, I'm rambling now, and this is probably the point where people are like, okay, you're done, I'll see you later. So I'm just gonna cut it off there. Thank you, thank you, thank you.